man to get the ball. Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association by MTK Global. With 24 hours out for, between the, he the biggest heavyweights, Lucas Brown and Dave Allen. 24 hours out, you're sitting next to each other, you're smiling, you're joking. What's your thoughts right now? We're fighting in 24 hours, we're not, we're not fighting today. Um, the best fights are born out of respecting each other. I can hate him, I can go in there and punch myself out in two rounds and I say, get up, I can respect him, respect what he's good at. And they, and they bring the best out. I mean, I believe that's what will happen. Look at Arturo Gatti, Mickey Ward, look at other great fights. You know, they were, were born out of respect him. And I, I respect him enough and I respect him. I've trained the hardest I've ever trained in my life. And I'll put 100% in and I believe he feels the same way and he's going to be one of the fight. I don't need to dislike or hate anyone to have a great fight. I just want to fight. I'm fueled by my desire to fight, not, not by hatred. You echo that, Lucas? Yeah? Pretty much, yeah. The, everything you said. Like, we're, Ask we're, me and he'll just agree with me. He'll agree with everything. That's how it's going to be, is it? We're here to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're, we're not here to uh, do anything else other than the fight. Um, I think the best thing that can happen is something like this where we, you just sit by the person, you yeah. have a fight, and everything's fine. Can I ask you a question that's interesting, that's interesting, well, it's very interesting for me is how do you used to switch off then that, that mindset from being friends and then the, when the first bell goes to stop punching each other and trying to hurt each other? It's my job. Is that what it's just a job? Me and him, yeah. People say we're well, like, likeable and nice, yeah. We're fighting men. I see people online saying, look, at, you'll see a better fight outside Weatherspoon. If anyone had started on me, you, me and him outside Weatherspoon, they'd get a really nasty surprise. <laughs> you might not look, the, you, know, you know, you might watch and say, oh, they're not great athletes, they're not this and that. We're two very, very hard men. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, Old school <laughs> gladiator style for yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. If you, and it, like, Compared to Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder or Lee's, you can say, yeah, fair enough, maybe we're not at that level like, right yeah. now or whatever else, but, but fuck it, he's been a, he's been a WBA world title holder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know, and I, and it, 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 um, I respect him, and that's going to make us a better fight. Don't need to worry about all the two nice and friendly. I think he's a nice bloke. I want to smash his head in, and he feels the same about me. <laughs> it's quite a surreal hearing that when you sit next to each other and you're not reacting to it, and no, it's, 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 it's quite a surreal thing. Well, what's going to happen? You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it's not like he's saying anything bullshit, it's just we're, we're sitting here now, everything's yeah. fine, and then tomorrow, ding ding, we're on. But here's a question for you. You mentioned at the press conference, Lucas, that you want a McDonald's after the fight, yes. you want a Five Guys after the fight. Yeah. The winner chooses then. We're going separate ways now. The winner chooses. <laughs> if he wins, <laughs> if he, if he wins it's Five Guys, if you win it's McDonald's. Nah. Nah. I'll go to McDonald's. Well, when Lucas wakes up, yeah, when he wakes up, I'll have carried him to Five Guys, I'll be sat in there, how did I get here? <laughs> So, Can you uh, carry that? Where are you about 18, 18 <laughs> 20 stone? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what is in stone. No. Honest, no pounds in. You know what? He's going to weigh about. He's, he's going to weigh 17, 11 today. I'm going to weigh 17, 8. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Like, okay. I, I, I know you know what about Lucas and Lucas knows about himself. 17, 11. He's studying you. Does not mean he's studying you very well. He's 17, 11. I'm a 17, 8. I know already. Oh, cool. Oh. What's the prediction? Then you're going to knock him out. What are you thinking? You're going to knock him out? Nice, good, hard fight. Yeah. What does what does the win do for you for your career then? What does beating Lucas Brown? It means run? the world to Lucas Brown beating me. Oh, um, there's the boss there, look. You want to get in the middle? I've been helping him sparring, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Coogan, you want to get in the middle? I have both of them. Yeah, nice. I've got a new A win, a win here is um, a win here is the biggest win of my career, um, and, it, and it catapults me uh, forward. A win here for him is not the biggest win of his career, but. A win here catapults him forward, and a loss ends his career effectively. Mm -hmm. Lose to me, his career is over. He knows that. I'm not saying his Do you career. Agree with that? I'm not saying his career is over no. in terms of he'll not no. fight again. Yeah. But in terms of moving forward, yeah. get, the, get the big this, names. The loser of this will never get onto the world stage. Yeah. I have to start again. Yeah. Start again. It's, it's I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you agree with me or else? That's the thing. No, <laughs> what I'm saying is like the loser here. Like I know if I lose Lucas Brown tomorrow. I'm never going to get to world level. Like, I'm just not. I'm not going to do it. So, and it's the same both ways around. Like, it's the, I'm realistic. I'm very realistic, man. Like people saying, "Oh, people say you can't get." I can get knocked out by him. I can get beat by him. Mm. I get knocked out by anybody. You'll be realistic. Say so you need to think you're going to win. Nah, I need to be realistic. Because being realistic will save from getting out. It'll get you further in life mm. than blindly believing you're going to be the best at everything. So exactly. Well, look, I didn't get the chance to speak to you yesterday. The issue uh, on Thursday, the news that dropped about uh, Miller failing that drugs test. I mean, yep. you've been in a similar situation now where it's, it's kind of hard to differentiate what you're taking as an athlete. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on the Miller situation then? There's a few different situations, like, considering it's happened so many times, mm. 
he should be uh, very careful what he puts yeah. in his mouth, especially when he's going to fight against Andy Joshua for the multiple world titles, etc. So you, you really get on point on what you're putting in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mom was a pre-workout, so and it was my stupidity. Though. Yeah. Like I went to the shop, just said pre-workout, thanks, you know, and walked off. So that was my stupidity. Mm. But there's been so many times where people have done that, so people should have learned by now, you know. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a grey area. How do you how how do you govern it, so to speak? How, what's what's the balance? I've got a, a supplement place mm -hmm. that basically stringently goes through everything for me. So I can't take anything bad of any sort because they go through everything with a fine tooth comb. That's what we're gonna do. Mm. Well, again, thanks for the, oh, I've got to apologise to you for Twitter. I, I, I put something out on Twitter that I didn't understand your no, accent, fine, which is funny know, coming I, from a Scotsman. So no, I, I don't go around um, threatening anybody. Yeah, yeah. Slaver, not a, you know what? Like I'm not a bully, and um, like, like I say, like people irritate me, but this is life. You just have to get on with it, and. Um, can't wait for tomorrow night. It's a big night for both of us. I think yep. we're both excited. I can't speak for both of us, but well, yeah, I think you can. Yes, yes, <laughs> I think you can. I'll speak for both of us. Fantastic. Really excited. Yeah. Well, really, I'm looking really, for. Really I'm definitely excited. looking forward to tomorrow night. It's not many times opportunities I get to come down to London and enjoy a big night. You wish sure. you're in LA. I'll see you. No, I don't. No, I do not, mate. I've not seen. I've not seen that team. Again, thanks for this Fightful TV, guys. Good luck tomorrow night. I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Baby, baby.